بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم المحاضرة التاسعة من سلسلة أطال المحرك الديزل البركنز والمحاضرة بعنوان أسباب الدخان الأبيض للمحرك كوز أوف إنجن وايت سموك فور فول سيستم إنجن وايت سموك كيف يحدث الدخان الأبيض في المحرك الدخان الأبيض الوايت سموك يعني أن وقود الديزل لا يحترق بشكل صحيح وكامل بسبب نقص الحرارة في غرفة الاحتراق لاجوفيت والتي تؤدي إلى فترة اشتعال طويلة Long Ignition Delay Period وفترة اشتعال طويلة Long Ignition Delay Period تحدث بسبب واحد تأخير توقيت في حقن الوقود Retarded Fuel Injection Timing تاني سبب ضغط انضغاط الهواء ضعيف Low Compression Pressure السبب الثالث ضغط حقن الوقود منخفض جدا Very Low Fuel Injection Pressure مما سبق نستنتج أن محرك الديزل يحتاج إلى توقيت دقيق لمضخة الحقن ذات الضغط العالي وضغط انضغاط صحيح فإن أي انخفاض في الضغط أو تأخير في تسليم الوقود إلى غرفة الاحتراق سيؤدي إلى احتراق غير كامل مما سيؤدي إلى عادم أبيض وايت سموك العلاقة بين منحنى خليط الوقود والهواء ومنحنى الهواء الساخن طبقا للضغط ودرجات الحرارة Now, let's see how the pressure changes in a diesel engine. The pressure is over 30 kilograms per square centimeter when the piston is near top dead center. Next, let's examine the relationship between the compression of the air and the temperature of the air. The temperature of the air increases as the pressure rises. while the ignition temperature of a mixture of air and diesel fuel decreases in proportion to increased pressure. This means that a mixture of air and diesel fuel ignites more easily when the pressure is higher. Let's put the two graphs together. Notice that the air-fuel mixture ignites more easily when this temperature gap is greater. You can see here that the air-fuel mixture will ignite easily when the pressure is about 30 kilograms per square centimeter. فترة تأخير اشتعال دري بيريت The period from the injection of the fuel to its ignition is called the ignition delay period. Fuel is injected as a mist from the injection nozzle into the highly pressurized hot air in the combustion chamber. This mist consists of many tiny droplets of fuel. You're looking at one of the tiny droplets of fuel in the mist. Although the fuel is injected into very hot air, it does not start to burn immediately. This is because it must first evaporate, which it does when it is heated by the hot air in the cylinder. As the evaporated fuel mixes with the air in the cylinder, it becomes as hot as the air until it is ready to ignite. The ignition delay period is this preparation period in which the fuel is exposed to highly pressurized hot air and evaporates and mixes with the air until it ignites. We saw this graph a little while ago. It shows the change in pressure that occurs in the cylinder when combustion does not occur. Now let's see what happens when combustion does occur. Let's focus our attention on this section of the graph. During normal diesel engine operation, the fuel is injected at this point. And it ignites at this point. 
The ignition delay period refers to the period between these two moments. The ignition delay period must be kept as short as possible because it affects the next combustion process. أول عطل incorrect injection timing تأخير في توقيت حق مضخة الضغط العالي White smoke is sometimes caused also by retarded fuel injection timing The pressure and temperature inside the combustion chamber reach the proper level by the time fuel is injected, but the retarded injection timing does not allow enough time for the fuel droplets to evaporate. Ignition therefore occurs only after the piston starts to go down. Since the pressure and temperature inside the combustion chamber start to drop immediately, the flames do not spread enough during the flame propagation period, and they soon go out. For this reason, some of the fuel evaporates but is discharged without being burnt. The result is the white smoke from the exhaust pipe that we saw before. A lot is sunny, low compression pressure. ضغط انضغاط الهواء ضعيف. A low compression pressure sometimes also produces white smoke. Let's turn the flame down even lower than before. When the compression pressure is very low, ignition does not occur until after top dead center. Since the piston is already going down, the temperature drops and the flames do not spread during the flame propagation period. The flames soon go out and the fuel evaporates during the direct combustion and post-combustion periods. The unburned fuel is discharged at the end of these periods. That's why you will see white smoke. I'm a suburb cells, very low fuel injection pressure. ضغط حقن الوقود منخفض جدا وفي بعض الأحيان إذا كان ضغط حقن الوقود منخفض يعطي نوكينج ويعطي عادم أسود أما إذا كان ضغط الحقن الوقود منخفض جدا فيعطي لون أبيض Diesel knocking is caused also by low fuel injection pressure If the fuel is injected at normal pressure, the fuel is atomized properly. But if the fuel injection pressure is low, the fuel is not atomized properly and the size of the fuel droplets is larger than normal. fuel droplets cannot evaporate easily and so it takes a longer time before the air fuel mixture can ignite. This results in a longer ignition delay period. Once there is ignition, the large amount of fuel burns all at once and causes heavy diesel knocking. 